Hey VC, good afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon. This is Glenn Calloway from the basement. Um, not a bad day outside, bit chilly, but uh, sun's in and out. I've had worse days. Um, saw Robert Hagerman. Robert's on my turntable this morning, talking about uh, our meetup yesterday on Record Store Day. So I thought I'd throw my two cents worth in. Uh, I'll give you the Coles Notes version, or Clip Notes, if you're an American, I guess. Or Cliff Notes, is it? Cliff Notes or Cliff Notes? I don't know, it's something like that. They're Coles Notes up here. Anyway, um, we met up yesterday around 7.30 in Belleville, Ontario, which is where Robert lives, uh, 10, 15 minutes from my house. Uh, waited outside for Sam the Record Man to open at 8 a.m. That's in the mall in Belleville. Uh, mall store, but they had pretty good inventory for mall store. And we went in there. They didn't have a ton of titles. They had about 10 titles and only had about two of each record, I would say. They had them lined up against the wall, so there was only four of us who got, who were there lined up. So you just kind of took your turn just walking along, grabbing what you could. Um, I um, didn't get anything. I uh, was interested in the Rory Gallagher. Wished I had bought it now, but didn't. If anybody has it, I'd like to hear your opinion of it. Um, I understand it's all acoustic, which would have been cool. Uh, I had the Warren Zevon in my hand, which I'm still kind of wish I got, too. Um, anyway, so Robert grabbed a couple things. By this time, it's about quarter to nine. We decided to drive to Coburg, Ontario to uh, Zap Records, the greatest independent record store in Canada. And uh, visit my buddy Tim, who's the owner there, and see what he had going on for Record Store Day. Unfortunately, Tim didn't get much of his inventory in in time, but he had a few things. And uh, for Record Store Day, I had the Who album in my hand, but put it back, just for financial reasons. Um, I also had a Tone Poet in my hand. It wasn't a Record Store Day thing, but Jimmy Smith Tone Poet. Man, it was 40 bucks, and oh, man, I, I wanted that. So I carried that around with me. I carried the Who around with me, and carried this around with me, which is what I ended up buying. Miles Davis, Double Image. Rare Miles from the Complete Bitches Brew Sessions. So this is the first time this has ever seen the light of day on vinyl. I understand there was a complete Bitches Brew Sessions uh, CD set release, which these cuts were on, but I'd never heard them before. And man, I am so impressed with this album. It's blowing me away. I played it through yesterday, played it through again today. Um, absolutely love it. I love the cover too, and the artwork is fantastic. It's on, uh, there's the back cover. Uh, it's on red vinyl. Dig the label too. Nice red vinyl. Really nice pressing, sounds great. I am so happy with this. Sometimes you buy a record like that and you're not sure how it's gonna be. I am like over the moon happy that I bought that. So, I have been, I'm done with, the, well, so, anyway, finished with Robert, I guess. So, Robert and I had a great time together. It was awesome. Him and I have become really good friends, and uh, I value that friendship very much, Robert, if you're watching this. Um, so glad that we became friends and got to know each other. It's very cool. Um, so, uh, while I was walking around with the Who and... Uh, Jimmy Smith and everything. I digress. Last week I was in Toronto and I picked up the Tom Petty thing. And while I was there, I found this reissue and I didn't know it even existed as a reissue. One of my favorite albums of all time, Johnny Winter, Progressive Blues Experiment. Um, this is on gold translucent vinyl. Um, immediate purchase as soon as I saw it I was so excited I almost wet myself so I really got myself on a Johnny Winter kick this week I've been wearing this album out it's absolutely incredible if you've never heard it and you like blues guitar 
run and grab a copy of it. I have it on CD, which I listen to quite often. So anyway, when I was at Tim's yesterday, I found this. Second winner. It's actually Johnny's third winner. Second album with Columbia on the Columbia label. Um, this is a UK pressing, and it was really clean, the vinyl. There's the original Johnny Winter Band with Edgar and Tommy Shannon, Red Turner. I saw these guys in 1969 at Massey Hall. My cousin Paul and I dropped some acid before the show and got in there and sitting down and Johnny comes out in a black velvet robe. You know, his albino features in total contrast to the, to the robe. And uh, Edgar, comes out and he's got the piano uh, thing and the saxophone and uh, my god Johnny running back and forth across the stage all night long playing these incredible leads and everything it was just an incredible show and it was just like whoa so uh, yeah but anyway <laughs> great concert experience um, second winner so I thought I'd show a couple more Johnny things just I'm on a Johnny kick here the other album, this was Johnny's first album on Columbia. Another great album. Oh, there's the Columbia label right there. Uh, and that's all the vinyl I have for Johnny. I do have a few things on CD. I'm going to start looking for more and kind of fill up my uh, Johnny discography, I think. Uh, I enjoy the man so much. Uh, this was the next album he released after Second Winter. Still Alive and Well. Great album, too. He does some great uh, covers on this. Rock Me Baby. Uh, Silver Train, Stone Song. Let It Bleed, The Stones. Uh, from a Buick 6, Dylan's song. Yeah, fr great freaking album this is. Johnny Winter, still alive and well. I wish he was. Unfortunately, he's not doing very well and he's not alive. And that's probably why he's not doing so well. So anyway, we got that. Johnny Winter and band with Rick Derringer. Never got to see uh, Johnny and Rick together. My buddy did and he said it was an incredible show. Uh, this is their live album, Still Alive and Well. Uh, this album they do rock and roll hoochie coo of course. And Or do they? No, I don't think that's on here. Good morning little schoolgirl. It's my own fault. Jumpin' Jack Flash, Rock and Roll Medley of uh, Great Balls of Fire, Long Tall Sally, a whole lot of shit going on, Mean Town Blues, and Johnny Be Good. Great frickin' live album. They do a great version of Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo, so does Rick Derringer on his own. Uh, and the last one I have is uh, Roots. This is Johnny playing with, uh, with some guest artists. Uh, T-Bone Shuffle with Sonny Landreth. Further on up the road, Johnny Vivano, uh, Warren Hayes plays on here, Vince Gill, Susan Tedeschi, Edgar Winter, Derek Trucks, Paul Nelson, and John Medeski, Medeski and Woods, uh, Martin and Woods. Um, great album. So that's uh, everything I had for, for uh, Johnny. Um, yeah, so uh, Robert, thanks for a great day yesterday. Uh, if any of you guys, I hope uh, I, it's nice when you when we see the meetups. I know Rod, the happy hippie, and uh, Randy met up in Nashville a week or two ago. That was cool to watch. It's fun to see. Uh, we're hoping one day we can get into Toronto and get hooked up with Anthony, AGK Vinyl, and love to meet Jamie Cottle. Uh, just people in our area, Bobby Gass. Uh, there's going to be some meetups coming up. Uh, they're coming. Hopefully we get through this frickin' uh, second wave of this virus. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Peace out, everyone. Have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, go Raiders. They're playing the Bucks at 4 o'clock. Uh, and um, go 
Rays beat the Dodgers. And uh, have a great week.